You've invested countless hours trying to increase your traffic and leads by crafting compelling blog content. But suddenly, a question looms over your head. Does having my blog on a subdomain impact my search engine optimization efforts? In this video, we're going to talk about what a subdomain is, whether a subdomain affects SEO, and why it might be beneficial having your blog on a subdomain. Let's first clarify what exactly a subdomain is. In the context of website structure, a subdomain is a prefix that appears before the main domain name, typically separated by a dot. An example of this is hubspot.com and blog.hubspot.com, where hubspot.com is the main domain and blog part is the subdomain. Subdomains function as a way to create separate sections or subdivisions within a domain. They provide a means to organize and categorize different types of content such as blogs, forums, or e-commerce stores while still maintaining a connection to the main website. Now you might be wondering, is it the same thing as a subdirectory? No. Subdirectories are subfolders within the main domain, for example, hubspot.com slash products. So does your blog on a subdomain affect SEO? The short answer is yes. The long answer is, well, it depends. First, search engines treat subdomains as separate entities from the main domain. This means that while subdomains still have some connection to the main domain, the SEO efforts you put into one does not affect the other and vice versa. This means you'll need to consider optimizing two websites in order to maintain keyword relevance and high search rankings. Secondly, subdomains have independent backlink profiles which essentially means that any links that point to your main domain will help boost its SEO and will not improve the SEO of your subdomain. Lastly, user experience is vital factor in SEO as search engines prioritize websites that deliver positive experience to users. If your blog is hosted on a subdomain, ensure that visitors can seamlessly navigate between the main domain and the subdomain and find relevant content easily. So should you host your blog on a subdomain? In HubSpot's case, by separating the HubSpot blog from the rest of the website, it makes it obvious to visitors where they're located on the HubSpot website as a whole. www.hubspot.com focuses on selling HubSpot product lines, whilst the blog subdomain is aimed at hosting educational content for existing users of HubSpot. Separating the two from each other with a subdomain keeps everything organized and helps visitors find what they need. A final piece of advice comes from Google search advocate, John Mueller who says that it depends on what you're trying to do. Is it content that's meant to be tightly connected to the main site? Then put it on the main site. If you want the content to stand on its own, then the subdomain is a good match. To learn more, you can explore all your content needs and questions at our resource center on redpandas.com.au. And if you can't find what you're looking for, you can always ask Elena.